Hello, um, I wanted to do a video on how to label your images for um, packages uh, that you get with me here at Crystal Thomas Photography. Sometimes I have packages where it'll include digitals or products like books and greeting cards and such. And the easiest way for me to know which photos that you would like is for you to label your images. So right now what we're looking at is an email that you would get stating uh, that your gallery is ready. In this email you'll get a link that you can share with friends and family. A uh, link here that kind of goes over different um, products that I offer and templates and different designs and things. And your password will be located right underneath the link. And the most important part is your access code to label your images. Now when you get your gallery link anyone can go into your gallery and view and purchase and um, favorite things. Every email that logs in gets their own cart and similar like uh, their own account when they log in where they can purchase under their own name. The access code gives you the only person who receives the access code, the ability to label the images for products and things like that. Now, if you give someone the access code, that is not the password. It is going to give them the access to label images for um, products and things. So be sure uh, to know that that is what you're giving them access to do. So. You can either click here to get to the gallery or you can click the link. And once you get to the gallery, it will look like this. And you'll click open gallery. And it should prompt you to put in your password and your email address. Be sure to put in your email address that that original email was sent to. That email address is the only email address that the access code to label the pictures is linked to. So any other email address that you put in will not be prompted to put in the access code and you will not be able to um, label your images. And here's the little uh, prompt that lets you know, hey, put in your access code. And then that's where you would put in your access code. And if you don't remember it or don't have it, you can always still go in as a guest um, under your email and name. And you can still favorite pictures, but you won't be able to uh, label them. So, as of right now, I have labeled some pictures, and you'll know when you have pictures labeled because they'll have a little label, like this one here at the bottom right. And favorites will have a star, like this one here in the middle. So to label an image, you would select the image that you like. And in here, you can hide the picture if it's a picture you don't want to see or you don't want anyone else to see, you can hide it. Uh, you can label them using this button right here, favorite, share, and you can choose black and white if you would like to see it as black and white. It kind of shows you right there on the screen what it would look like as a black and white. Let's do share real quick so you can see. Share with Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And favorite, just lets you know that it's marked as a favorite. And label. Now this one is the part that the video is pretty much all about. For every package, you might have something different in here, just depending on what is included in your package or what you mentioned you were interested in. So if you're interested in digitals or if you have a package that includes digitals, 
you would label this one picture as one of your digitals for your package. So if your package comes with 10 digitals, you would need to label 10 different photos, digital image. If you'd like to purchase a book, or if you are purchasing a book, then you would say, okay, I like this picture. I want one of these, one of these, I want this picture in my book and you can label it as book. Or if you like this picture and you're getting greeting cards or holiday cards or anything like that, I want this picture as one of my pictures on my greeting card. Same as goes for collage. If you like this picture and you like to add it, and you can label this for every single one of these if you'd like. And usually when um, you have a package that includes different things, I will let you know how many images you'll need to select. Say if it's a book, I will tell you, depending on the size, 20 pictures for this size book or 30 pictures for this size book. Or if it's a collage, I'll say um, choose up to eight images or whatnot. So you'll see the labels that you selected for that individual image right here. It's been favorited as well. So we can go back to the main gallery screen. And you'll see that this photo was labeled and favorited. So you going through your gallery and you got all your pictures and you just don't remember or it's so many pictures in there you just want to how do I see all the pictures I just labeled you can go right up here to the top bar and click favorites here it'll show you your hidden your favorites and your labeled so we'll click labeled for now and it shows all the labels that you have available that you saw in the um, little pop-up menu. So you see the two, it shows two photos that you labeled for digital. Two photos have been labeled for book. No photos have been labeled for, labeled for a slideshow. And same down here. And you can click in there and it shows you the two photos that have been labeled for digital images. And slideshow, wherever you see that, it pretty much just shows you a slideshow of the photos that are in there. So that's pretty much the gist of how to label your images. Hopefully this was helpful to you, and I'll see you next time for another video.